So, today we are traveling to a destination that people have literally told us to never visit. A place that's known for traffic, like a lot of it. A place that's known to be a little polluted. And a place that can be a little chaotic. This is Jakarta, a city of nearly 10 million people and the heart of Indonesia. While it definitely does not have the natural appeal of Bali, I believe that every destination has its hidden gems, and most of my most memorable travel experiences have happened when traveling to the places other travelers choose not to go. Let's see if Jakarta is one of those places. First thing that shocked me about Jakarta is the fact that the moment you get out of the airport, you actually have all sorts of electronic vehicles to get you around. So you've got the e-bluebirds and the e-grabs, which are like two of the big companies for transportation. Zero pollution. Also, I'm a little surprised that the airport didn't suck. It was actually pretty nice. We got through really quickly. Everything was clean and rather efficient. It rained last night. And I slept like 10 hours, so I feel amazing right now. We just flew from Dubai. Pretty exhausting flight, but this is where we're staying. This is the Juno Hotel. Rooms start at like $20, $25. I think this one's probably more around $45 to $50 a night. But uh, yeah, turns out the view here is pretty incredible. Without a doubt, one of the best things about big cities is the food. This is 115 here in Jakarta. And what they've done here is something I've never seen attempted before. They've taken sparkling water, they've mixed it with coffee, my two favorite things in life in one place. I think some things are better kept separate. So I've gotten myself the V60 coffee. It's actually a painstaking process to make one of these. It looked like this. That's a really awesome cup of coffee. And this skillet, unbelievable. This one over here is the star of the day. And I should remind you, we're sharing that. Really? We split. I don't remember that. So right now we're in Jalan Surabaya at the Antique Street and it is just blocks upon blocks of awesome shopping. For me, this is some of the coolest stuff you could ever decorate your home with. Is this how you used this to do your... Uh, Calculations uh, please, back yeah, and forth. There was an abaco challenge in my school. So far, it's actually some of the better shopping I've done. Got this old okay. antique watch, which basically sits like that, or it's actually a clock. It's not a watch, like that, and it's all encapsulated in this like world map style case. So that was uh, like eleven dollars, and I paid about fifteen bucks for this. So. I got the price down about a fourth of what it was before on both items. And originally they wanted like 55 bucks for this, or 50 bucks, they wanted like $40 for that little clock. So you really gotta negotiate. But if you're willing to stick it out, the people are really nice and the antiques here are actually awesome. Kathy and I are having so much fun. The best purchase of the day was one that Max did. It's a super aid. Max Good job, Max. Welcome to our next not so touristy spot. I'm late for my shift. Well, we got dropped off in a slightly wrong spot, but uh, you get the feeling of where we're at. It's not touristy here. As you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so, we've just paid our taxi driver by the meter to wait for us, he's super nice. So, we'll be back in less than an hour, I imagine. But this is where we're going now. Hello. The three of us is Tuju Pulu, which is 70 per person. You can negotiate, but there's times to negotiate, and times not to. I mean. Just accept the five dollars per person, and let's go and enjoy a rather unique view of Jakarta. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Into the boat we get. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big boat. All right. So you're probably wondering, Christian, how do you find these hidden gems? Well, we don't know it's a gem yet, but we do know it's hidden because I only know about this through my friend Tampin. He's actually from Jakarta, but he lives in Bali. I immediately got on a call with him and said, hey, like, what's a local spot that you would only know about that you'd take your friends to? You're looking at it. Thanks, Tampin. All aboard the Adventure Express. We should have brought an extra paddle for you. Yeah. I will sing. Shots are looking amazing. 
amazing. This is a really interesting spot. I don't regret coming, but if you do come, have a local because we weren't able to find the little village that we were supposed to be taken through and the language barrier here is extreme. <laughs> but the village more or less looks like this. You just go in between through a river that has this on both sides. Bye bye. My lady, our ride has arrived. Only 20,000 to get us, a, well it's pretty expensive. We're going a few blocks. <laughs> I have been living in Indonesia now for like close to two years, but one of the things I'm not proud to admit is that I barely can speak the local language, Bahasa Indonesia. And so one of the things that I've taken it upon myself to do is to learn the language step by step, starting right here in this trip to Jakarta. This is Babel, and one of the best things about it is whether you be in a bus on your way home from work or taking a flight to your next destination, you can be learning everything you need with this app. And the fantastic thing is there's so many different languages available. I actually started it off using Babel to learn a bit of Spanish and here I am learning Bahasa in a little warung in the side of the street. One of the best features about Babel is the offline feature. So no matter where you are, as long as you've saved your lessons, you can be learning them on the road. Another thing is, I have to say, it's actually given me a lot of confidence to be able to walk into a business, to talk to a local, and feel like I know what's going on. I don't always know how to respond to every sentence, but it's been a game changer in just a few days of practicing. In just 10 to 15 minutes, you can go through a lesson and be able to notice some serious improvements in whatever language you're learning. Ah, salut, Jean-Claude! <laughs> hey guys, sorry, I'm just here in the Swiss Alps learning French right now. You know how it is once you start using Babbel. Anyways, if you guys want to get started with your own Babbel journey, you actually get three months for free when you pay for three months. So check out the link down below. Now, while this isn't for everyone, this is actually a huge part of the Jakarta culture, and that is the countless malls here in the city. And I'm talking like dozens of them. And this one right here is so massive. I'm not gonna show you too much because you can already envision what a nice mall is gonna look like, but I will show you one reason why we came here. And this is how you watch a movie. We just watched an awesome movie. What was it, The Gentleman? The Gentleman. The Gentleman. Yeah. And it was gentleman. watched in <laughs> style. $18 to share a bed. Look at that. Nine dollars a person to have this comfy to place asleep. to sprawl out. <laughs> there was like us and maybe ten other people in the theater. Check that screen size. Movie's over. They're gonna kick us out any second now. So there's one last thing we need to do in Jakarta before leaving the mainland. So I've just called for a taxi, and so we're just five to ten minutes away from our sky bar. And it started raining. Guys, it has been raining all night, and we woke up to this. What the heck? We have a ferry to catch in 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes away on a good day, and this is not a good day. This is uh, one of the craziest unexpected wake-up calls I ever had. Not only is the sea level rising every single year, but because Jakarta's been so built up, the actual city itself is sinking into the ground. So that's a deadly combination, causing for the city over time to actually become below sea level. And that is the reason why they're needing to relocate to another side of Indonesia. And this is estimated to cost the government roughly $33 billion. It's expected that about 1.5 million residents will leave Jakarta of the 10 million and go to this new capital. It's just something they need to do to alleviate the current situation. You ready to get tropical? Yeah. Tropical vibes. You ready for this? Uh oh. My uh -oh. Are wet. My shoes are wet. Oh no. We're pretty much the only tourists here, and everyone's speaking in Bahasa. And despite brushing up with Babel, I have not been able to keep up with what they're saying. And yeah, they're finally like, Tito, Tito. And they look at us and they're like, quick, 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 go, go, go. So we gotta get on this boat. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, quick, quick. Hati, hati. <laughs> So, you might be surprised to hear this, but Jakarta actually has a set of islands known as the Thousand Islands. In reality, it's actually 115 of them. So this is just another one of the incredible things to be done in Jakarta. 
that actually involves taking a boat. All right. We survived the boat, just barely. I started to feel a little sick. Really? A little bit. I was looking at my phone all the time and I am not sick. Uh, that's a first. Yeah. Yeah, I was starting to feel a little bit of that up and down, but we've made it here. This is Pari Island. Check it out. You've got the local kids playing soccer here. Hello. You've actually got some really nice green water over there, despite the fact that we don't have a ton of sun, but I'm actually seeing the clouds start to burn off, so I have hope that we will get at least an hour or two of that tropical weather before we have to head back today. If I told you that this is Jakarta, would you believe me? Probably not. This is not a place I expected to be anywhere near Jakarta, but on a nice day you could probably get here in about 45 minutes to an hour, which is unbelievable because it's gorgeous. And this beach is, at least today, almost feels like a private beach. There's just a couple other groups here and then us, and we'll be hanging out here for the next few hours. Salamat siang! Siang! Berapa harganya nasi goreng ayam? Nasi goreng ayam, mm, dua lima. Dua lima. Hmm, Max. <laughs> I'm trying to have an Indonesian conversation and he's trying to steal my thunder. If you guys have never been to Indonesia, then you should know this is the number one plate. It's very simple. It's fried rice and chicken. Sometimes it comes with these little crackers on top. We saw the, the woman making them in the morning outside yeah. their house. For real. Just deep fried. Yeah. Huh? It is spicy. Oh, I like it. We gotta go, mamacita. If you're wondering what we've been doing, a lot of that, relaxing, watching funny videos, and just chatting. It's been really, really nice. A nice relaxing afternoon, and now we're gonna go catch our three o'clock ferry. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> the people on the island are so friendly. That's the thing we've experienced everywhere here in Jakarta. People are just so, so nice. Yeah, they are really nice. It seems to be across Indonesia. Yeah. People are just super sweethearts. And there are a lot of kids in this island, right? Yeah, there we, are so I think many. It's a good island. All right, guys, time to go back to Jakarta. It's really starting to hurt. I gotta stop doing that. Technically, we're actually not going back to Jakarta because we're already in Jakarta, but we're going back to the mainland. Everything has been late here on this itinerary, including the ferry by like an hour and a half. So we're now rushing to try to make our last stop, which closes in, well. And now 50 minutes, we're gonna 55 have, minutes. If all goes well, we'll have 15 minutes there. Okay, so no cameras allowed. So we're switching, oh my gosh, we're switching it up to the iPhone. We are the last ones to get in. They actually refused us, but then we just begged them. We're like, we leave tonight. Please, please let us into the exhibit. There was 10 minutes left and they don't accept tickets after that time. So they were so kind. They let us in and we went. Yeah, but we gotta go. And we dealt with a horrible taxi driver who I don't want to talk about right now. Bye-bye. Fastest trip of history. All right guys, we have made it to the airport and I have to say this is one of the most beautiful domestic airports I've seen and the international side is gorgeous as well. The Corona Squad is headed back to Bali here okay, looking... We left our suitcase. Huh? Yeah, you should probably get that. <laughs> <laughs> We're headed back to Bali now, but yeah, Jakarta was full of surprises. I have to say that it is a pretty cool city. If you actually know where to go, what to do, if you're well researched, maybe this is for you. Now, do I think it's a level playing field with places like Bali or going to the islands in Thailand or going to see the elephants in the north? Not at all. Like this is at the end of the day, a city, which for me always comes secondary to awesome like natural escapes. But we did have that little island adventure and I have to say that the city itself is not as bad as it's made out to be. There's some really great spots, good food, good fun. Maybe we'll be back one day. It was a good trip. Yeah, I wish we had better weather, but I know it was not the right season. Yeah. Mm, all right, nice. Darth Vader out. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see this beautiful face and my face, hit subscribe and let's get lost again in the next one. I look like a Mac. <laughs>